Here we're looking at a blank calendar and I kind of want to show you why I customized this item to four weeks. So I explained how you do it. You simply go into your settings and you scroll down and look for custom view and I set it to four weeks. I think by default it's on four days but four weeks is what I look for. And So I'm going to explain why. When I start using my calendar I'm typically in a week view. We can see we're at the second half of June as I'm creating this. So if I have an appointment that's on Wednesday and it's from 12 to 1 and we're going to just call it uh, my appointment. I'm not going to put in any details to that. So now I'm showing you we see the appointment on Wednesday. If I want to move it forward a week or even two weeks given the mini calendar I have here in the upper left I can highlight the current week and drag down so that now three weeks are showing. We can show my appointment or see it and I simply drag that appointment to the date necessary. So it can be dragged virtually uh, virtually anywhere. So let's get rid of that. Which is very convenient for moving appointments and tasks around. The problem is what if I need to drag it down into July? I can't really see July here and so one of the ways to do that is show the four week view and that will show me um, let me go back to today that'll show me the current week plus a week down into um, a week down into July or two weeks into July really so now I can drag my appointment down there it makes it a little bit simpler I don't have to open my appointment and manually change the date and time so that's the reason I show four weeks at a time um, in my custom view it just makes managing my appointments a lot simpler. So we can drag this back up to the 18th, go back into week view, and there it is. So that's, that's why I show this as a four-week customization rather than four days. Four days doesn't really help me manage my task and appointments.